Hello everyone, Larry Sashwell here. I'm actually at the patio table here, right where the bird feeders are. One of my favorite places. Have lunch out here a lot. I need something to cover up that hummingbird feeder because the hum mockingbird was on it and now a little uh, uh, Phoebe, Eastern Phoebe uh, bird landed on it yesterday. So I've got this little dollar store salad bowl. I don't know what it is. I think this will work. I don't need a lot. This is a little cutoff from Jacob's stool, three quarter inch maple. And here's the hole that I put it in so I could cut it off. Now one end already has an indentation where the center is because that's where it was on the lathe, but the other end doesn't. So I need to find the center of that. And the easiest way to do that is to use this Forstner bit, which is the same bit I used to create the hole. And I can put that right there so it's inside and the other side of the dowel is there. And just give that a little wrap with this tool. And there's the center hole. Now I just have to drill a hole. Of course, it always helps if you remember the drill. I'm going to put this drill in my vice grips here. It's not a big hazard, but uh, today's not a good day to drill through your hand. Doesn't need a lot of pressure. I want to try to get it straight down. Now for the other side. trying to go all the way through but I do, do want to get this eye bolt in there quite a ways and while it's in there I'll just screw in the first eye bolt now I'm not calling this a squirrel baffle or anything like that I'm calling it a poop deflector because all I want to do is try to keep any bird droppings out of the hummingbird feeder all right that's in one end now, before I can go any further, I need to have a hole in here. This plastic doesn't drill well. I've tried it before, and it usually cracks. It's a lot, uh, just as easy and a lot safer just to heat up a nail, and this nail is the same size as my uh, eye bolt here. Turn the gas on. Right in the center. That was easy, and that nail is hot. I've got these two rubber washers. They're off of um, the nails that you uh, use for metal roofing. And I have a lot of metal roofing down in the barn and on the chicken coop. So I'm gonna use those as a little buffer against any breakage that might be on here. So I can put this on there pretty tight. So I've got the second eye bolt right here. And now I just need to screw those two things together. Well, here's the hummingbird feeder, and here's where they're all perching. Take that off, put this eye bolt in there, and that eye bolt right there. I think it's gonna work. Time will tell. I'll put up my trail cam, and we'll see. Well, I made that video over two weeks ago and only one bird has landed on it since then. I've had this trail cam on here 24 seven every day. In that original video, I meant to thank JBCYT, one of my viewers for pointing me to this baffle at Home Depot. And that's where the inspiration came. Just a little update on the, the hummingbird feeder itself. That rich color has faded to almost clear plastic. And when we pulled up the reorder again, it, it showed a, 
that we never ordered it. So I think that company is already out of business. I was out of town yesterday at a track meet and it was windy there, but I think it was even more windy here because this is what the trail cam caught. And you can see a poor hummingbird came up here when it was all entangled in the rose bush here trying to get a, a drink. Can't imagine what they thought. I'm really surprised to see that hummingbird flying. I think it would have grounded most 747s. But I have the one picture of a bird sitting on here. There's no evidence of any poo here. So I think I've captured everything I can capture. And it is what it is. I'm going to keep this up here all summer unless it falls apart before then. And I'm sorry, Lori. I was hoping to get that mockingbird. <laughs> that lands right over there on my tomato cage. That picture for you, but I haven't gotten it yet. I'll keep working on it. I'm going to put some more video of the hummingbirds visiting this. Thanks for watching.